Channel 4's Janice Harris is following the investigation. She's joining us live with an update. Janice? Very disturbing, and this is the house where that shooting happened. I talked to one man that lives in this neighborhood. He told me he's ready to move out, and he's scared for his life. For hours, police walked in and around this home, searching for clues in the second mass shooting of this week. Tuesday night, where one man died and three others were injured. One man, too afraid to show his face, said the shooting woke him up out of his sleep. I was home sleep. Mm. I heard the bam, 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 bam. And I came to the door, one was laying in the street, and another one was laying up on the porch. News for Jack's cameras captured the moment police towed away a car riddled with bullets and evidence. The police report shows bullets hit this home, a neighbor's house, and an SUV. Tuesday's shooting is not far from Sunday's shooting involving two teenagers and three young adults. Crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says it's too early, though, to tell if the two are related. Now, it's very close to this same location within a few miles. But at this time, we really can't say whether or not it's related. With two communities in unrest, police hope someone will talk. They hope someone will talk so much so that they have placed these signs on the home. You see the number there, 866-845-TIPS. They hope someone will call. Live on the Northwest Side, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. Or Janice Harris found out why and she's joining us live. Janice. I spoke with one of the directors for the Quickly House. They say that they have a concern because for them, they believe that in hiring any person with any kind of abuse allegation is sending the wrong message to fans. Peggy Payne, the director of a domestic violence abuse shelter, is disappointed the Jaguars picked Dee Dee Westbrook to join the team despite being accused of domestic violence twice. I feel like that organizations like the Jaguars should be held to a higher standard than picking someone. A talented man on the football field Westbrook was arrested twice, but was never convicted. Payne says that his actions do matter, even if he was only arrested. And the Jaguars are sending the wrong message to fans. I was hoping our home town team would, would, wouldn't be like the rest of the country and wouldn't choose someone because they could throw a ball or run faster. The Jaguars picked Westbrook in the fourth round when they were questioned about his history, they said. Obviously, he's uh, had some issues early in his uh, career. Uh, we feel that's behind him, and, um, and it has to be behind him. There's no choice now. Payne hopes Westbrook is a different man and not a reflection of his accused past. I hope that the Jaguars are paying attention, and I hope they are training their staff and their players, and I hope they hold them accountable. And the Jaguars sent this statement from D.D. Westbrook saying in part, quote, I felt like my past, I've grown up and I've learned a lot from it. Of course, my past did happen a few years ago and it made me a lot wiser. It made me think things over. Live at the Everbank Field, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. Janice. There's a 99.9% .9 chance, according to the river management today when I talked to them, that they're all going to be added onto that list. You know, seven counties now. The rain that we just received for a couple of minutes, probably not enough to say that they don't need to conserve their water. But the hope is that folks will start taking action now before things get worse. Everyone wants a lush grain yard, but a lack of water makes that hard to do, and restrictions could grow when the St. John's River Water Management District decides to put 18 counties, including St. John's, Duval, and Alachua, at the warning level for the first time in 10 years. The warning, a reminder we all need to do our part to conserve water. The St. John's River Water Management is asking residents and businesses to act now. There are four things you can do to help reduce your lawn watering needs. This is in bloom right now, so it's real pretty. So this is a native palm that we added, which needs no water. 
Ginger and azaleas are also water tolerant or replace the turf grass altogether. And we planted a ground cover, so we used Asiatic jasmine, which spreads well like this, is full cover, so we have no weeds, and it needs very little, once it's established, very little water. As long as there's a need for rain, restrictions could get worse. And so to help you out, we have links on our website with this story, everything you need to know about conserving your water, because if it gets worse and it goes to a moderate level, that means more conservation. It can even affect golf country clubs and also neighborhoods where you can only use water for one day. Live in St. John's County, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. Canceled for students and staff in the Charlton County School District tomorrow. St. George Elementary School is currently being used as a staging area for firefighters. Road closures in the area are preventing drivers from going to and from school. An unmanned space plane operated by the Air Force safely landed at Kennedy Space Center today. The X-37B mini shuttle returned from orbit after nearly two years of test missions in space. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, Peter Quill and his galaxy protectors were brought together in Volume 1. Now they are a full-blown space fighting family with plenty of flaws. While protecting the pretentious inhabitants of Planet Sovereign, they still prize possession and spend the rest of the movie paying for it. Then there's the twist. Peter meets his father and conflict spreads fast. Volume 2 is about the battle for power and love. This is where the desire to see this movie ends. Yes, the fighting scenes are creative and engaging, but most of the film is boring. The humor is not for everyone as it is dry, offbeat, and often prompts a five-second delay laugh. This movie is for the loyal sci-fi comic book lover. The highlights are extra scenes after the film ends that give hints to what volume three could reveal. Now, if you see this movie, don't forget, wait until the end for at least the five sneak peeks